We are following the latest on yesterday's shooting that left those undercover officers injured and two suspects dead. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Lauren Freeman. It's a shooting that made national headlines happening in a Southeast Houston neighborhood. New today, we're getting our first look at the suspects. Investigators say Dennis Tuttle and Rogina Nicholas were found dead inside the home those undercover officers were targeting. And we have team coverage on the investigation. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is at the hospital following the latest on the injured officers. But we begin with Brittany Jeffers live near the scene of yesterday's shooting with reaction from neighbors there. Brittany. Now, Lauren, if you look at the home behind me, you can see that there is a memorial growing right now. There's candles and flowers. We learned earlier today from Chief Acevedo that once inside, officers found guns. They found a white powdery substance as well as marijuana. But I talked with a lot of the neighbors here today who tell me that they were friends with the couple who lived inside of this house. They tell me they didn't suspect that anything was going on inside. 24 hours ago, many watched from their windows as their street became a crime scene. At the center of the shootout was their neighbors, Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nichols. But honestly, we were just in total shock. Undercover narcotics officers were here to serve a warrant at the couple's home. Chief Art Acevedo says once inside, Tuttle opened fire on officers with a revolver, and Nichols grabbed an officer from behind. Five officers were injured. Both Tuttle and Nichols died at the home. That was Uncle, Uncle Dennis and Aunt Reggie. Sarah didn't want to go on camera, but says that she's been friends with the couple for more than 20 years. She shared this video of the scene with me, saying that she panicked when she realized what had happened. We weren't just neighbors. We weren't just friends. We, we were family. Houston police say they found guns, marijuana, and a white powder substance that could be fentanyl inside of the home. Neighbor said it's a discovery and a tragedy they never saw coming. We seen the lady pass by every once in a while, always in a rush, very, very hyper, very friendly. That was a nice couple, nice people. As I mentioned, we've seen a lot of neighbors stop by this home, but we also saw the sister of the suspect, Dennis Nichols, stop by as well. Today, she told me that she doesn't have any answers. She says that all she can do right now is offer prayers to the injured officers as well as their families. We're going to have more on her interview coming up at 5. Live in Southeast Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.